Hello everybody, it's Silvershim, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. And Bellhead's got a letter, which I believe he does every time you start the game. Oh, and now it's five one-up mushrooms. Guess just like that from now on. So you can essentially start the game with ten lives, if you count the one at zero, instead of five. So last time we collected two power stars from the Puzzle Plank Galaxy, and now... Go to the one that that's listed first. This one. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. It is the Hightail Falls Galaxy. So let's go. Now for our first mission, Hot Stepping Dash Pepper. As you can see, there appears to be a strange object or whatever there. Well, it's clearly a pepper, whatever. And we're treated to a nice remix of Super Mario World's athletic theme. And of course, why not have the character that debuted in Super Mario World? We actually haven't seen Yoshi in a while this game. Climb fast. Now up there is a new power-up. The Dash Pepper. Spicy Pepper. And when you eat it... Da -da 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 -da. Together we can show the world what we can do. You are next to me and I'm next to you. Pushing on through until the battle's won. No one's gonna give a thing to us. Into each other we put our trust. Stand. <laughs> I had to. That game wasn't that great from what I hear, but... Control dash, you know, she tilt the... Control stick the direction you want to go. That game wasn't that great from what I've heard, but it still got that meme. So anyway, eat that to become dash Yoshi, and... And, um, Yoshi will... Will run forward at, at high speeds, climbing up walls. You can't stop, but you can just steer. And so Yoshi has these fruit power-ups in this game. Well, I guess a pepper's not really a fruit, but whatever. And you can grab them from a distance to get a head start. Uh, that just gives you cords. Avoid that thing. And if Dash Yoshi ever runs to a wall, he will... Runs into something, he will fall off whatever wall he might be on. Grab the checkpoints with Yoshi's tongue. And you can just run across these. And another dash pepper to get across these ones. Just keep going and you should be able to barely make it. So put this one. If you head over this way, there is a bonus area. Which may be easier with Yoshi. I can just do it all from here. Ha ha ha! The hacks. So I'll just go ahead and go back to that launch star. And onto this section, where I'm probably going to ram into something and fall off. Okay, just gotta steer Yoshi around those random poles. And there's a Hungry Luma over here, which means there is a hidden star that I'm gonna go back for. Just carefully steer Yoshi around here. No, 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 no. I definitely want that Comet Medal. I should be able to jump back over here. Okay, I'm good. Okay, let's get that Comet Medal this time around. Ah, uh, I guess it's worth it. And you could flutter jump presumably infinite times in midair. So, want to adjust your landing from a, uh, from a fall from that height. It shouldn't be much of a problem. Got these flower grapples over here. And onto this final section. You can see the power star up there. Let's go. Okay. Just got gotta have some precise steering. 
Not sure why I tried to go for that one up. Oh, come on, I was so close. Let's try this again. Take two. Just go around. Forget the one up. And we got it. First power star with Yoshi in a while. But now... We're headed back into that level to get that hidden power star. Uh, after it shows us that, we've actually unlocked two more galaxies, plus a hungry Luma. Ooh. Purple Toad's got a letter. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Oh, no. Come on by and we'll do the whole introductions thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. The Chimp. So, this is our first chimp challenge. Come see me next time there's a mail delivery. Uh, and I'm probably not going to... And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to enjoy this very much. I'll take care of that right after this hidden star. Ooh, he added six to my total. 794. Uh, I'll go ahead and deposit a good chunk of my star bits. There. You serve a lot of stops. Found this one up. And gives me a one up for my troubles. Oh, and the more star bits you you give him, he'll start getting some new stuff. Nice glasses, huh? I think they make me look like I'm good at math. Heh. Okay then. So how about let's head back into Hightail Falls Galaxy? And get that hidden power star. Now, before I actually go for that hidden power star, there's something I want to show you. If you go on the left side of this path and... And you don't fall down... Let's see if I can get this right. Just gotta avoid these... Grab the second dash pepper and run all the way up here. There is an old penguin up here known as Penguru. Stop, Yoshi. Okay, and a one up. Penguru. Your skill has brought you very far. Quite a view, is it not? From here, it is clear how important every coin truly is. Now, what he is alluding to is that is that Luma that wanted coins we saw before. Oh, but you can't actually see it from here. Maybe if you look over here, you can see it. I... <laughs> this is risky. He's not going to stay on, is he? Okay. Well, it's not even rendered at this distance, so whatever. I'll see you when I get over there. Okay, so I'm over here at the Hungry Luma. And how much do you want? Only 30? Wow. Okay, then. I was thinking it would be like 50, but that was mainly because I had 41, and I... <laughs> Whatever. Transform! And a new planet was born. Take the launch star. And this planet is full of enemies, I don't know the name of, that are never seen again in the rest of this game. Or ever in this Mario franchise, I don't think. And they are carrying silver stars and coins. Just want to get the ones with silver stars? Oh, they actually respawn. Oh, and they can deal damage, so... <laughs> uh... It's not, they don't even chase after you or anything. They just hop around like nut jobs. And there's that last silver star. 
And there we go. And right where it spawns, our hidden power star. Okay, not sure why they just randomly made those enemies for that one part of the game, but what are you going to do? Silver Stars and Hightail Falls. Ooh, and something's going to happen. Well, now, you found quite a few of those power stars, huh? We'll keep track of how many you got. Oh, and there now there's a new sign over there. That's it, the sign next to the helm right there. It also... Sh I'll also show you the whereabouts of some other power stars if you're interested. So now if you check that sign, it shows the power stars you've collected and the ones you still need to collect. And in the fluffy bluff galaxy, remember that letter from the chimp? Well, that's what that power star signifies. Got 16 power stars, soon to be 17. Head over to Fluffy Bluff, and you can see the chimp's icon. Okay. I'll do it, but I probably won't like it. Let's get into the Chimp's Stomp Challenge. It's also the galaxy where we met the chimp, so fitting. And you can see there are a ton of enemies around. Read the sign. Rocket punch by stopping multiple enemies without touching the ground. Spin midair and chain stomp. Relation to what's going on here. Go near the chimp and finally. Say hey, I'm the greatest game player of the galaxy. They call me the chimp. Nice mess dash. We've already met. I've got the high score of ten thousand on this game here. Pretty simple. Just stomp the enemies and grab coins. If you can match or top my score, I'll give you a power star and some respect. Maybe. So you game or what? So let's do this. You're going for 10,000 points. Good luck. You're going to need it, pal. So, as he said, got to stomp. Got to stomp enemies. You can get up to 300 by stomping on multiples. And I'm already a tenth of the way there, huh? You can get points just from... Defe you can get points from defeating enemies with a spin. I'm not going to bother with that life shroom. But, of course, if you defeat enemies with a spin, you don't... You'll get a star bit instead of coin... You'll get star bits instead of a coin. And those aren't worth any points in this game. Okay. Okay. And these just get me star bits. Don't need those. Okay, I'm halfway there. No, okay, come, come on, I can't afford to... Oh, come on! Missed out on a few points there. Can't be too big a deal. This is the last area of the level. Can I do this in one try? Ooh, enough chain stops and you get one-ups. Yes! I've done it! I've done it already! <laughs> I don't even need to try anymore. Why did I have so much trouble on this the first time? It took me ages to get this right. So how about I jump off into that black hole? Okay. I'll just get this one up because why not? Up to 20 lives. 21 technically. Uh, yeah, I'm... I was going to see if I could race back and grab that life shroom, but... <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't want to risk it, but then I just decided to. But it... Eh, and nothing really happened. Fantastic! That's 12,450 points. You might be an amazing rival to my own skill. Here's your power star. And here's the second main star at the level. That had prevented us from seeing that there was a hidden star before. Oh, and I actually missed the enemies that were under that bridge. Oh, well. 
You're pretty good. You come back if you want to crack the high score. Yeah, no. I'll just take my power star. Thank you. And the sky actually changes depending on the world you're in. And that galaxy's complete. With 17 power stars under our belt, I'm gonna end it off here. Next time it's Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna go back to World 2 and explore more galaxies. See you then.